Hi, welcome to SGT University. I am Rafreet Kaur from the Faculty of Engineering and Technology. Today we will be learning about the effects of noise pollution. Any sound that disturbs your peace is noise, regardless of whether or not you are used to it. But have you ever stopped to think about noise pollution effects on humans? Noise pollution effects many things and is everywhere nowadays. Loud music churches, vehicles on the road, airplanes flying above homes, construction machines in the neighborhood, and industries in urban areas. That's without mentioning the many sources of noise within your home, including the TV, blending machine, washing machine, lawn mover, etc. Now that we have mentioned it, is getting used to noise a thing really? If you would take a stroll in the woods all by yourself and experience the tranquility therein, you would certainly realize that the noise you got used to has been denying you lots of peace. Besides your prioritizing your peace, does noise pollution affect you in other ways? According to the US Environmental Protection Agency, noises that exceed 80 decibels are detrimental to your health. Children are affected by noises above 60 decibels. The decibel is the unit of measure for the intensity of sound waves and in simple terms, any noise that dwarfs normal conversation between two people is most probably above 60 decibels. Let us discuss the effects of noise pollution in detail. The fatal effects of noise pollution are, the first one is hearing problems. Any unwanted sound that our ears have been built to filter can cause problems within the body. Our ears can take in a certain range of sounds without getting damaged. Man-made noises such as jackhammers, horns, machineries, airplanes and even vehicles can be too loud for our hearing range. Constant exposure to loud levels of noise can easily result in the damage of our eardrums and loss of hearing, causing tinnitus or deafness. It also reduces our sensitivity to sounds that our ears pick up unconsciously to regulate our body's rhythm. Psychological Issues Excessive noise pollution in working areas such as offices, construction sites, bars and even in our homes can influence psychological health. Studies show that the occurrence of aggressive behavior, disturbance of sleep, constant stress, fatigue, depression, anxiety, hysteria and hypertension in humans as well as animals can be linked to excessive noise levels. The level of irritation increases with increased noise and people tend to become less and less patient. These in turn can cause more severe and chronic health issues later in life. Next is physical problems. Noise pollution can cause headaches, high blood pressure, respiratory agitation, racing pulse, and in exposure to extremely loud and constant noise, gastritis, colitis, and even heart attacks may occur. Next one is cognitive issues and behavioral changes. Noise affects brain responses and people's ability to focus, which can lead to low performance levels over time. Like other sound waves, too much noise when it goes to the brain leads to lower response rates as well as making the mind dull. It is also poor for memory, making it hard to study. The studies have shown that school children living near railway stations or airports have problems in learning. Research has shown that people who live near airports or busy roads usually have a higher incidences of headaches take more sleeping pills, sedatives, are more prone to minor accidents and are more likely to seek psychiatric treatment. The fifth one is sleeping disorders. While it may not seem like much at this point, excessively high levels of noise are likely to hamper your sleeping pattern, thereby leading to irritation and uncomfortable situations. Without a good night's sleep, you might experience multiple problems related to fatigue. This will affect your performance in the office as well as at home. 
it is therefore recommended to take a sound sleep to give your body proper rest if a certain noise is disturbing your sleep take an actionable measure to reduce it while in some instances it is completely unavoidable there are other instances like noise from tv or gadgets that can easily be avoided by making good lifestyle changes interestingly our ears need rest for 16 hours and even more to make up for 2 hours of exposure to 100 decibels sixth one is cardiovascular issues blood pressure levels cardiovascular disease and stress related heart problems are on the rise studies suggest that high intensity noise causes high blood pressure and increases heartbeat rate as it disrupts the normal blood flow since bringing these rates to a manageable level depends on our understanding of noise pollution we need to be wary of the ill effects and tackle these situations mindfully seventh one is trouble communicating High decibel noise can put trouble and affect pre-communication between people. This may lead to misunderstanding and you may get difficulty in understanding the other person. Constant sharp noise can give you a severe headache and disturb your emotional balance. Eighth one is effect on wildlife. Wildlife faces far more problems than humans because of noise pollution since they are more dependent on sound. Animals develop a better sense of hearing than us since their survival depends on it. A recent study published in Biology Letters found that human created noise affects a wide range of animals. The ill effects of excessive noise begin at home. Pets react more aggressively in households where there is a constant noise. They become disoriented more easily and face many behavioral problems. In nature, animals may suffer from hearing loss, which makes them easy prey and leads to dwindling populations. Others become inefficient at hunting, disturbing the balance of the ecosystem. Ninth one is effects on species. Species require sound waves to locate and find their way when migrating. Disturbing their sound signal means they get lost easily and do not migrate when they should. To cope up with an increasing sound around them, Animals are becoming louder, which may further add to the pollution levels. That is why understanding noise pollution can help us lower the impact it has on the environment. Now we shall discuss the solutions to reduce noise pollution. WHO agrees that the awareness of noise pollution is essential to defeat this invisible enemy. As of now, there are not many solutions to reduce the sound pollution. However, the government can take the following steps. First one is establishing regulations that include preventive and corrective measures. Next is governments can take measures such as protecting certain areas, parts of the countryside, areas of natural interest like city parks, etc. to ensure noise management and reduce noise pollution. The mandatory separation between residential zones and sources of noise like airports. Creating pedestrian areas where traffic is not allowed to enter other than offload goods at certain times. Fines for exceeding noise limits. Other ways to battle noise pollution are by controlling the sound levels in clubs, bars, parties and discos. Removal of public loudspeakers is another way in which pollution can be countered. Again, better urban planning can help create no noise zones where honking and industrial noise is not tolerated. The replacing traditional asphalt with more efficient options can also help reduce traffic noise by up to 3 decibels. On a personal level, everybody can help to reduce the noise in the following ways. The first one is keep checking the surrounding noise levels and limit the sounds that you produce. Stay in a green neighborhood full of trees as they are known to reduce the sound levels from 5 to 10 decibels. Reduce noise in homes by lowering the volume of the radio, music system, and television. Avoid very noisy, leisure activities and also going to areas that are too noisy. Doing your housework at the recommended time also makes a difference. Use proper noise absorbents in machines that make too much noise. Listening to music with headphones is also a good step forward. Use earplugs 
when you are in a noisy area because it lowers the overall noise of the surroundings. Try alternative means of transport such as bicycles or electric vehicles instead of taking the car. Get your vehicle checked regularly and lubricate it properly that it doesn't produce too much noise. In the case of new buildings, you can insulate your home with noise absorbing materials. So today we covered the effects of noise pollution and in our next lecture, we'll be learning about the fundamentals of noise generation. Keep learning, keep growing, see you next time.